Good morning, St. Thomas More. And uh, today I have kind of a big announcement. We got surprised last night with um, a couple of major changes. So Mrs. Calabrese, as many of you may know, uh, has been our vice principal here this year. And she's been transferred effective immediately to St. John Henry Newman. So we wish her all the best. We know that she will do a great job at that school. And uh, we wish her all the best going forward. And to replace Mrs. Calabrese, brought back an old friend of ours, a uh, former principal, retired principal, Mrs. Cannon. So welcome back, Mrs. Cannon. You are now the, um, so for all the students in the middle of the alphabet, that will be your vice principal going forward. Um, okay, now welcome back, Mrs. Cannon. And finally, um, I do want to uh, take the time for, if you'll I, I ask for your attention, please. Uh, we had a heads meeting yesterday and the heads of department, our lead teachers, uh, brought up a couple of pretty important points that through the pandemic, <clears throat> everything has changed and classroom expectations, school expectations have not necessarily been uh, consistently enforced or even communicated to you over time. So I just wanted to highlight a couple of the key expectations of behavior around the school and around the community. Uh, and expecting that hopefully we can make a dent in some of these things. First of all, we're having a major problem with lates in period one. Like even as I'm doing this announcement, I see a lot of traffic in the hallway behind the camera. Uh, as you know, class starts at 810, but if you're noticing now, it's hard to get here in that 810 to 8, 8 o'clock to 810 range because there's so much traffic coming in and out of this, this school. And as the weather warms up, I'm gonna encourage all of you to arrive prior to eight o'clock. When you have a major uh, engagement that starts at 810, you don't show up at 810. You show up before eight. Uh, if I have a job interview, I make sure I'm here early. And the reason why that's so important is that as the volume of lates come up, it becomes a backlog at the office. And what might be a five minute late may cost you 30 minutes, 40 minutes of instructional time. It puts you behind. And as a former classroom teacher, I know that the beginning of the lesson is often where the core of the lesson starts. So it's not the time to be missing. So I would ask all students to just be mindful, try to get here a little bit early. Uh, let's get back to where we were at the beginning of the year when we first opened the STM patio and maybe hang out there. Because once you're there, you can move quickly to your locker and to class. But please, you gotta be in class by 8:10. If you hear the anthem and the prayer from the hallway, you're late. Secondly, uh, during lunches, now that we have the cafeteria open and again the patio open, the expectation is that the hallways in the classroom areas are clear during lunches. There's no place for walking around the third floor or any of the hallways that have classrooms when you're supposed to be on your lunch. On your lunch, you can be in the cafeteria, you can go to the patio, and of course you can go to the plazas, although I never recommend that. Uh, but as the weather warms up, you have lots more options, but the hallway is not one. And, you know, I, I'm not going to go down the road of the washroom again, but washrooms are not places to congregate. Some of you have fallen into that habit because uh, during COVID time, it was kind of the only place where you felt like you could socialize. But that habit needs to be broken now. Go to the cafeteria and socialize there, please. And finally, I want to remind all students that Going to other schools is strictly forbidden during the school day or after, uh, just as I would expect that when I walk into the hallway, the only kind of students that I see are from St. Thomas More. Uh, students from St. Thomas More are not permitted to go to other schools for any reason. Uh, and we get a lot of um, security footage and incidents that happen at other schools when St. Thomas More students decide to go to other schools, and then that results in, in consequences. And I'm asking you, I'm telling you, it's also quite dangerous to go to another school. So this is your school, come to your school. Uh, don't go to another school during your breaks. And finally, uh, I, I do wanna recognize again that we're coming out of a pandemic and we're kinda getting back to normal, but it's very important that we have to establish some good study habits. And you know, something my wife taught me a few years ago was that if you can pull something off for three weeks consistently, it becomes a habit. So I would recommend that you get into a habit where you are doing your homework on a regular basis, making sure you're on time for all four classes, prioritizing being engaged in school. And you do that for three weeks and it will become who you are. It may not be easy on the first week, but you gotta start doing it because your future depends on it. And we want you to be successful in the classroom. St. Thomas More has a tremendous tradition of achievement. You're the next round of that. 
in order for us to recapture that, we have to start with good study habits in the classroom. So I encourage you to do all that. And with that, I, I wish you a wonderful Wednesday. My name is Dana. And my name is Tia. And we're here from your diversity committee. Calling all of our talented knights. This year, we'll be hosting the STM Diversity <laughs> Talent and Cultural Fashion Show. This event is open to all. Some ideas for acts are music, song, dance, spoken words, poems, comedy, magic, and more. Sign up sheets for auditions are posted outside of the lecture hall. Auditions will be on April 12th and 13th. For more information, check out our Instagram at stm.diversity. Thanks, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Alex, and here are your announcements. In activities, this is a reminder that there will be a United uh, Harmony Vocal Ensemble rehearsal after school today in room 128 in, uh, sorry, at 2.45. See you there. This is a reminder for those interested about joining uh, STM stage crew that there will be a meeting after school tomorrow. The first slow pitch tryout will take place tomorrow after school. Please remember to dress for the weather and bring your signed permission form. Attention Science Olympic students. There is a brief meeting after school today in room 333. Please see Mrs. I Ms. Ivanak, Ms. Pereira, or Ms. Newberry if you are unable to attend. There will be a brief meeting for junior boys hockey players at the start of period five in room 150. To all students interested in playing lacrosse for STM this spring, there will be a short meeting on Friday after school in Portable 3 to discuss the, the coming season and tryout dates. Any students who are interested should attend um, lacrosse is open to all students and no previous training is necessary in order to try out. Students with questions should, should see Mr. Castellani ASAP. Attention United Against Racism students. Today, uh, today there will be a meeting for all Michael Monk committee members after school in the lecture hall. And now on to sports. Yesterday the senior girls soccer team played in the first round of the board indoor soccer tournament. The girls played two very good games. In the first one, they defeated BR four to nothing, thanks to goals from Mia Paymont with two, Sabrina Kunha and Janelle Silvestri. In the second, they bested St. Mary with the score of three to one, thanks to goals from Jenna Paris, Sabrina Kunha, and Lorena Marcone. The girls will go into the winter's playoff round that will take place next Monday. Thanks, SDM. Hello and good morning STM, Ms. Josiah here and here are your morning announcements on behalf of Student Council. On April 22nd, we are bringing back dodgeball. No, you did not hear me wrong. I said we are bringing back dodgeball. Get your friends, make a team, name your team, and get ready to play dodgeball. I want to see athletes. I want to see non-athletes. I want to see dancers. I want to see singers. I want to see all of the above there, doing their best, throwing those balls and catching them. Make sure you register your team by April 14th. Easter candy grams, for the first time ever, are being sold at STM. Feel free to come down to the student council office during your third or fourth period and buy a candy gram for yourself to enjoy or for someone special as an Easter gift that will be delivered to their first period class. If you love your friends or even if you love yourself, you'll get a candy gram filled with the best candy you've ever tasted in your entire life. And last but not least, prom seating is due April 14th as well. I repeat, prom seating is due April 14th. Get your friends, get your forms, and let's get excited for the biggest event STM has yet to see this year. Keep yourself updated and go and follow the Instagram at STM underscore council. Have a wonderful day, STM.
SDM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.24. Have a great day.